hello guys welcome to tech chips in this video i will show you how to convert dot swm files to dot vim files and apply them using imagex so let's get started so for this purpose you must have a imagex imagex is a piece of software uh, used to deploy images and apply them and capture them and much more uh, so you can find it anywhere on the internet so once you have downloaded this one uh, you are good to go mm. open up command prompt as administrator mm. now switch to the directory where the imagex is placed yeah. Now type in imagex. Okay, now imagex is working properly. Now um, here I will show you. Uh, normally, in all kinds of uh, Windows uh, source files, you will find this install dot vim files. Whereas here, uh, we are able to find this swm files. So uh, vim files are pretty much easy to handle with the uh, install and uh, to mount to apply to capture such like that whereas here uh, this uh, new kind, kind of format is uh, uh, not much as like a WIM, for WIM formats so what we are going to do is uh, take out these two SWM files and uh, merge them into one SWM file and convert them to WIM file so let's take it out place them in a new directory right. so here is the command right. um, this is the command so here you need to take care of three things first uh, you need to specify uh, the um, partition and the directory where the files have been placed uh, here I mean F, F volume A directory and I have placed install 2.swm and install swm in one folder so I have to mention uh, the path for the install 2.swm as uh, F volume A directory and for also uh, install swm the directory is same uh, like this one um, and here this is the asterisk asterisk specifies the image index that needs to be exported to the newly created uh, vim file so if you just uh, put it as a uh, 10 or 11 the particular image index uh, image index uh, defines which edition you need to apply so if you specify if you are aware of uh, which index you need to be uh, exported uh, you can straight away go over here and place in 10 or anything but now here we need to export all the editions from both the swm files to a vim file so place an asterisk and uh, here you need to specify the export output path uh, uh, i need to be them in the same directory uh, where the swm files are placed so I have uh, mentioned them as uh, f, f volume and a directory and give a name for it and make sure you end with the dot vim so combined dot vim will be the output uh, file and this is the output file name you will find this uh, while installing it and that's it uh, hit enter So the export is going on. So let it be done. I'll be back then. 
now the process uh, is done uh, here you can look at the output file command.vim and that's it so we need to test this uh, vim file so for this purpose we need to rename that to install dot vim and then take this and place them in sources folder so once you have done you can uh, straight away boot it use using usb or write it to your dvd uh, instead of that there is an, uh, another way uh, another way which does the same process so let's take out this beam and place it outside okay. now there is an image x command which is used to apply this pim file to any of uh, to any partition in your uh, computer uh, make sure that partition is clean and let's do the process the directory <coughs> where you have placed the vim file now you can uh, you can uh, look at what edition you needed for example if you need a 48th edition uh, it might be an uh, embedded industry or uh, yeah windows 8.1 industry enterprise edition so you can go through this and um, you can choose the specified one and now uh, to apply it change this info to apply it uh, once you are uh, ready with the image index just place which version uh, you need uh, for example let it be one and here comes the directory where you need the operating system needs to be installed in my case I will place it as D that's it <coughs> once you hit enter uh, the installation will be done uh, it may take uh, maximum 5 minutes so this is the quickest way of installing and once uh, you have completed with this one uh, you should add a boot entry to boot into that uh, newly installed operating system this is a very simple command just place the directory uh, where you have installed if you have installed in E make sure you put E here that's it once you hit enter the boot entry will be created and everything goes fine so that's it thank you for watching thank you